Hello again, YouTube. We are back today. I'm Ryan, stickdulcimer.com, hoping to teach you a little bit more about some Johnny Cash out there. Um, today will be Ring of Fire, one of the classic ones, which was actually penned by June Carter Cash as a response to Johnny's philandering. So, FYI there. If you haven't seen that movie, it might be worth watching the Walk the Line movie. Anyway, might be dating myself. Let's get into this song, but first, a um, couple things. One, got a chord guide over on the uh, website that you would really benefit from. It's got lots of chords in it. Would love for you to have it. Um, would love for you to help me support the channel by going to get it. That's the complete chord guide. However, I also have free ones, a free cheat sheet and a free key change guide over on the website. Now, if you find that you like this video, by all means, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm putting these out as frequently as I can. Um, now, on to Johnny Cash. Much like the last Johnny Cash song I did, which was uh, Folsom Prison Blues, this one is very straightforward. Three chords, one, four, and five, and then a lead line that I wanted to make sure that we covered today. So, I'm doing it in the key of G because the recording's in the key of G. So if you have a G-tuned instrument, whether that's a G-tuned Merlin or one of these drumstick or pick and stick style instruments that's in the key of G, you can play along with the recording, and that's a lot of fun. Now, if you have the D-tuned instrument, you, you can just do the exact same stuff if you're watching my fingers where I'm gonna put them, and then the chords you're gonna be playing are D, G, and A, the one, four, and five chords in the key of D. Today we're doing G, C, and D, the one, four, and five chords in the key of G. Okay, now, the, uh, the last video, the Folsom Prison Blues video, I pointed out that a good way that I like to do this is to play the, the, the one chord, the G chord, here, and I'm doing the two finger claw. There's a video about that, we'll put the link thing there. Um, that helps get that boom, check, boom, check, a boom, check, a boom, check. Now I'm bouncing my, my left hand up and down to kind of help mute the strings. And then I'm playing the, the C and the D chords. That shape right there. Okay, that's the song. The verse is totally just one G chord. Love is burning thing. Ba, ba da da da. Bound by wild desire, I fell into a ring of fire. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, go to the the D. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Went down, down, down. Got it? Now, if you're playing this with one finger, that'd be just the third and fourth fret. I fell into, I fell into a burning ring of fire, went down, 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 and the flames went high. So that's pretty straightforward. The thing I really wanted you to get to today is the lead line. There's a lot of these songs that I've done that either didn't have a lead line to, um, to, to teach or it was not worth it. Didn't I just didn't do it? Maybe I don't know. But this one I figured out because those horns, the da 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 da, -da those horns are so um, iconic to this particular song. Real quick break from the video. I have a request. Go over to the website. There's a link below for a survey that I made specifically for people here that could uh, help me understand what it is you want to see more of or what you like, what your challenges are, why you got into playing. And uh, if you go ahead and do that, it would A, help me, and B, 50% off any of the digital products over on the website, the downloads, the uh, chord guides, bundles, all that kind of stuff. So by all means, please go on over there and do that. It would help me out a lot. Thank you. Get back to the video. So this might take a little bit more work on part of some folks. The way I'm gonna do it is index finger here, ring finger on the low string. Now, you can let that middle string ring out or you can mute it by leaning this finger down so you get. Or, either way is fine. But this is the shape you have to have in order to go. So you're, if you're watching my index finger as your as your reference, it'd be two, 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 three, one, two, 
and then you're just anchoring your ring finger here and keeping that in that same motion so it becomes right and then the second piece of the line you got your index finger on the low string and your middle finger on the middle string See that tighter that tighter third grouping but again watching my index finger same thing two two three one two same exact placement as the uh the first line we just skipped over to the low string right so the so the whole lick together is the thing i like about this um translation as it were for uh, strum stick or seagull merlin uh, dulcimer guitar over um, from the horns is the horns are already, already kind of playing a rhythm there that we're able to mimic here da -da 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 -da. you could do that with a pick or you could do it with your fingers this might be tricky slow it down before you try and speed it up i'm going to do it a little slower this time because it is tricky That was with fingers. I've just grabbed a pick because I'm realizing maybe it'd be easier for a lot of people who are becoming accustomed to playing with a pick. Um, if that's the case, then you can just get a lot of that rhythm easier in the pick. So it would be... And I'm playing actually the third note in the middle there. And I, I should point out right here when I'm doing this shape, I'm deadening that top string, but you could leave it open. It's up to you. By not having it open, you give that uh, ability to be a little bit more punchy with it. So you can either keep that middle string fretted in this shape when you're doing the first part of it, or you can leave it deadened by leaning this finger down So you got some options there. I like having options. These things are flexible. These instruments are flexible, it gives you some options. Again, if you want some chord options to consider, go over to the website, download the complete chord guide. That really helps me out. It uh, gives me encouragement as well as just some revenue to help with the, uh, with the channel here. So again, I'm Ryan with stickdulcimer.com. If you uh, haven't subscribed, feel free, please do. And also we're over on Facebook and Instagram. Join us there. Okay, have a great day.